other than thee. Bronze Marie. And I'm the greatest edition of YouTube 2019. And here we are in 2022. It's Vlogmas. <laughs> And I've been the greatest addition and asset here on out. So when I join the compact baby girl, I want you to be here. You want to be here. You high key need to be here, love, just because we serve looks. We sometimes serve a little bit of tea, but overall, baby girl, we just be serving. And I'm actually just now getting up. I went to sleep a little bit after 5 a.m. It's currently 8 something, so I didn't get much sleep last night, but Child, that's okay, that's okay. I am up because I need to do my hair. I'm about to head out in about 30 minutes or so. I haven't seen my brother play any of his games last season. I went to, I believe it was his first game this season. That was the only one so far. So I'm excited and thrilled to go see him play again, especially being that all of my work, well, most of my work for this month has completed. Y'all can't tell my voice is it's not gone, but it's it's very tired. So it's like a nice time to wind down, relax, and do whatever I need to do. I need to go ahead and do my hair. So um, let me do that really quick. If you're wondering how I'm doing my hair, I get told very often that myself and Lori Harvey actually resemble one another. Granted, that's when I'm like beating stuff right now, girl. It's, it's not given, but you know, I'm still cute. <laughs> but I get told that often, and I finally saw it when I saw a picture of her this morning with a bob, the same style that I had my bob. I was like, the resemblance is actually pretty uncanny. I don't know, it kind of boosted my ego because I'm like, Lori Harvey's a very pretty girl. She's a baddie. So I decided to pay homage to the brilliant Lori Harvey today with the hairstyle that I'll be doing. This is the hairstyle that I will be doing and yeah let's pray it comes out decent i gotta go ahead and do some baby hair and all that which is necessary because this wig y'all it was supposed to be out days ago so i'm gonna finesse it okay let's let's get it done i have my hair and my flexi rise i did of course take a one curler to it prior to doing this but i had to go to the store really fast to grab me some disposable wipes for my trip my bag is already packed but i have to go to the store Forgive me in advance if you see me out in public like this because this is something I don't do, but now I understand. So in situations where I want to speak, it's gonna make me eat my words from here on out, okay? <laughs> All right, so I am in the car here in my flexi rod. I'm about to do this face really fast, which shouldn't take long whatsoever, but. Y'all, it is currently a little after 10 and my brother's game is at 2 p.m. We were actually supposed to leave. Well, I was expected to leave by like 8.45, so ciao. I could have did my makeup and everything at the house because I have, I had the time clearly, but I didn't want a chance like getting started and not being able to finish. We have a three hour drive, three and a half hour drive. So I am in Chick-fil-A's bathroom because we had to stop. I had to pee, I'm sorry. I could not hold it any longer. We are about an hour and a half away and y'all, I completed my entire face in the car. I learned her while the car was moving. So it was a little smudge, but it still came out really cute, y'all. Hey. <laughs> All right, we gotta go because she's rushing me jail. to my brother's school, I am in the bathroom. I have to stop. I don't know what's going on with my blood or my body today. I didn't drink, I didn't eat anything. So it was, it's really throwing me off, but I had to stop in the bathroom. I'm about to head back to the car so that I can head to the gym. And let's get this game going. Let's go shock. <laughs> but this is the look. The hair is giving Lori Harvey. The face is just giving bronze. Get it! Get it! 
All right, y'all, I had to step out for a quick second. So far, as you guys can see by the scoreboard that I showed you at halftime, we are currently down by six, but that's okay because I do have faith that we will come out victorious. They are playing a really great game. I think that it is pretty fair from what I've, I've observed. Aside from that, like I said, I think that they may have underestimated their opponents, but I'm gonna give them grace and I'm going to hope for the best. I hope, like I said, that we're gonna come out victorious. So, ooh. ciao. The ball is in our court, literally. The ball is in our court. <laughs> The game is over. Final score, 69-84. 15 points. It's okay though. I finally made it back to Virginia, but before heading home, I had to stop in Ross to grab a couple of last minute items. I still have to go to the mall sometime later this week to pick up a few more things. But yeah, y'all, I'm kind of exhausted. So I am almost home. Well, I mean, I'm technically home. I'm in my city, literally right around the corner from my house. But I had to stop in one last store and get something. I was in um, Ross and I got a couple of like Christmas gifts for people, a couple of stocking stuffers. Y'all, I am ready to, number one, I'm ready to eat, but I might just go to sleep, so. so. I am finally, finally back home. Real fast, I did want to share with you guys that my work was submitted to a magazine um, from, I'm assuming, one of my models. They got approved. So the magazine actually reached out to me whilst I was in Maryland, and they sent me a DM wanting me to confirm that they had the correct information. Oh, look, look at this. This is my work. <laughs> Great things are happening. So I met this girl at my brother's basketball game and she complimented, she complimented me the entire time and I was so grateful, so thankful for that. And you know, we exchanged words, we had a really great conversation and we even exchanged phone numbers. I text her, but I don't, you know, my message doesn't send until I'm on the road. And when I'm on the road, she sends me a text message and it's along the lines of, well, prior to that, she asked me, she was like, do you have a boyfriend that plays for the team? I said, no, like, no. <laughs> so I think that was her trying to scope out, okay, well, what am I about? So I get a text message from her on the road and she's like, my friend wants to date you. I'm like, who was your friend? Number one, and I think it was the friend that she was there with, but you know, I was, I was just like, who was your friend? You know, does your friend know I'm a man? She was like, wait, wait, hold on. Are you the one that I met at the game? I was like, yeah, bronze, that's me. And y'all, she hasn't texted me back since it's been hours. So I kind of felt offended that she, that I felt as though, or that I'm feeling as though she only reached out to me or came up to me to try to be a wingman for her friend as opposed to just being sincere and genuine. I did leave her with one short favor because she had a very joyful and welcoming spirit and you know, don't lose that. But all right, you guys, I'm actually feeling a little queasy. On our trip there, like I kept having to stop there and back to use the restroom. And she asked like, what's going on? I was like, girl, I may be pregnant. Feeling a little queasy, child. I don't, I'm not doubting it. However, I, I don't know who the father could be because I'm, I haven't, I haven't done the, the adult do in, in quite some time. I thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed me, please give this video a huge thumbs up as well as leaving me a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought about this video, what you'd like to see in future videos, or if you just want to leave a comment down below saying, hey bronze, what's going on B? 
I would greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to join this compact by hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell button right beside it so that you get notified every single time that I upload. You can keep up with me and all of my endeavors on all social media platforms at Bronze Marley. I love you guys so much, but I'm about to hit the sheets. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas.